Welcome to Window Cleaner Resources YouTube channel. I am Steve O, the Window Cleaner. Today we are going to talk about the number one Ettore tool for residential window cleaning. And it's as simple as this the Ettore backflip. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. I think this is one of the best tools overall for residential, and it's one of Ettore's best tool for residential. Why? Because you just only have one tool, you have two tools. So let's go check it out on the glass and see how it works. One of the really great things about having this tool for residential is that you can easily turn it into a polling tool. I suggest not doing it. I don't ever use it the way that it comes. It comes like this, but I never use it like that. I either use it like so or just separate. But for polling, it makes it super easy. Especially for houses, you just get through stuff really easy. This is a, a clean that we do monthly on a house, so windows aren't too dirty. So something like this just works out perfect. That's why I think this is the number one residential tool from Ettore. It just makes the job so easy. The handle, which is the Leggies handle that's in it, is the best handle for uh, residential. Why? It almost has a ledger thing to it where closing out on deep sills is super, super easy with it. And then the Ettore brass channels are just awesome overall. The only thing that you really can't do with it are uh, these uh, arc windows, but if you are, if you do need to do them, here's a technique that you can do with it. If you're doing windows like this, I don't know if this is gonna freeze. It's about right at the freezing area now. If you're gonna do these, just glide in, go like that. Luckily, this is not a window that um, I really look at. As you can tell, it's like a fog glass inside. But you can definitely use it for it, even though you don't have a swivel pit on it. But you just see, it just, you're only gonna be able to do straight pulls on this. I have a 14 and an 18, but I find I use this 14 more. When I first started out, I used the 18 for everything. But this, I just love for homes. So if you're starting out, I mean, this, this is so nice. Um, one other thing about it here, the T-bar, is a little bit different as far as it's not a full circle in here it's that flat like that so it's almost great for getting a good amount of the mop on the glass it's not ideal for storefronts where you need to change your angle and stuff a lot but for this it works extremely extremely well for the sake of the review let's try it out like this so if you had it like this, right? It actually wets up the window nice, but you're gonna have to keep a particular angle of the mop. Then you could change your angle like so, if you wanna use it this way. But because this tool holds so much water, it gets a little bit heavy like this. And you really have to keep your handle almost close to the glass to be able to get a good scrub. So I suggest when you have that, I don't know if it worked very good in houses, but it gets heavy. Even the 14 gets heavy like this because this mop carries a lot of water. So that's why I think it's easier just to separate them like so. Have both hands doing work instead of one hand and then less strain 
on you, a window cleaner. As this tool by itself, the uh, squeegee with the handle is super light. You could also use it separate like this, right? If it was just a little too heavy for you, it's still gonna work like that. And then you could just pull them like this. But it does get heavy. I usually never work with combination tools in one hand because of the strain throughout the day that I see happen. Uh, the sleeve here, Golden Glove sleeves, are great. That's what this is on the uh, on the back flip. Uh, it goes great. The only issue I have with these, they get a little bit matted down, where the Ettore Pro Plus glove usually doesn't have that issue. But it holds a lot of water. Um, another tool that's like this is the Mormon Combinator, where the Mormon Combinator does hardly hold any water. I mean, you could do maybe two windows with it and you're gonna have to dunk it with this one. You could really probably do anywhere from 15 to 20 windows with it um, on a regular clean and be fine. Not have any issues. You see me rolling just through these windows. And you see this Ettery brass squeegee. There's no modifications done and it's grabbing everything. This is one of my, this is my favorite handle to use. If they had make, if they had make a civil version of this, it would be the only one I would ever use. So then if you're going to use it like this, right? Like that. It's just, it's just as, it's easier than using it the other way with the squeegee pointed towards the mop. So now we have the squeegee pointed towards the way. But once again, it's almost so heavy that you don't need to put any pressure on it because the weight of the mop uh, puts a lot of pressure on the squeegee, but it just gets a little bit heavy in hand, making you maybe a tad bit slower really, and probably tiring you out more by the end of the job. Alrighty, that's about it. Thank you for joining me in this video and looking at the Editor A backflip. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll make sure to answer them all for you. Remember, this is a great tool. Um, just to go over it real quickly, you know, compared to other tools such as like the Mormon Combinator, the Unger Vice Versa, the, um, what's the other ones? There's some other ones out there. This one's great because of the ability to disconnect. You have a really strong T-bar and you have one of the best handles out there for residential window cleaning, which is the Ettore veggies handle so if you like these tools make sure to go purchase them your own and uh, these are available in smaller versions and larger versions so please go check them out and we'll talk to you soon have a good night or have a good day or have a good morning bye bye